know, you claim it is tough talk to discuss carpet bombing. It is not tough talk. It is a different fundamental military strategy than what we've seen from Barack Obama. We need to define the enemy. We need to rebuild the military to defeat the enemy. And we need to be focused and take, lift the rules of engagement so we're not sending our fighting men and women into combat with their arms tied behind their back. That was Senator Ted Cruz last night making his case on how he would combat the Islamic State. That was at last night's debate. This, as President Obama apparently uh, met with his national security advisor today, and they're talking about stepping up their efforts, maybe more confrontational efforts against ISIS. Defense officials are urging the president to combat the group whose influence is now growing in Libya as well as other parts of the Middle East. Joining me now, Michael Pregent, Brian Dean Wright, and Morgan Ortegas. Uh, Michael, let me go to you first. It, listen, uh, Ted Cruz, uh, a lot of people are saying the fight he wants to fight is like uh, several decades old. You can't fight those kind of fights. ISIS embeds themselves in places uh, like Raqqa with civilians. If we just carpet bomb the whole place, it's going to be a disaster. How do we fight them, though? Because whatever we're doing now is not working. <clears throat> No, it's not working because we're not fighting them with, with Sunnis. We need to empower Sunnis and Kurds with arms and actual legitimate positions in the Iraqi security forces and actually work with Sunni tribes in Syria. Even the Peshmerga will tell you today that they know they can't take Mosul without Sunnis. And the biggest problem is you've got to look at what Maliki did. Uh, Maliki basically kicked out 90,000 U.S. trained Sunnis and Kurds from the Iraqi security forces, leading this big security void that ISIS felt. That ISIS was able to fill, and now with this with this uh, ISIS strategy in Iraq, we're basically partnering with a predominantly Shia force to clear ISIS areas. Now, when I say that, Ramadi was rubbled. You can't go to Ramadi tomorrow and open up a store or go back to your home because it was leveled. And in Tikrit, Shia militias are pretty much in charge of who gets to come in and who gets to stay in Tikrit. So we have to really look at our ISIS strategy and start working with the right people. And that, those are the Sunnis of Iraq and the Sunnis of Syria. But Brian, also, I, I, some would say, uh, because of this administration's insistence on leaving responsibly uh, and, and, and broadcasting timelines and things like that, that uh, the, the locals there, whether it's Sunni or uh, other sort of tribesmen who might join in with us, not only to win this fight, but to keep the peace, are reluctant. They think we're going to cut and run. Ultimately, the issue here isn't, uh, I, I don't uh, believe, uh, about Sunnis or, or Shias and, and getting them involved in the fight. It really is about what is the nature of Iraq itself. Does uh, Iraq, uh, or should it even exist? Uh, and that really is fundamentally what this comes down to. The, the Sunnis have to believe that Iraq is worth fighting for. The Shias have to believe that uh, the <clears throat> nation is worth fighting for. And ultimately, the Kurds have to join in. They have to all believe that they are Iraqis. Absent that, we cannot keep Iraq together. It will fail. Um, in fact, I think a lot of people would argue that it has failed. Uh, and then we should look at something more like a confederacy within Iraq to keep it together. Well, what do you think about that, Morgan? Because I've heard that before. Uh, but by the same token, these animosities, they run deep, they run long, they're ages old. And, and, and listen, I know we don't want to get involved in democracy building, but we've got to figure out a solution here. Well, listen, I mean, I think when you, what you really need from this president is a coherent strategy. The problem is, is there hasn't been a coherent strategy since the Arab Spring. We were with, the, we were with Egypt, then we weren't with Egypt. We were with Libya, then we were bombing. I mean, there, there's been no strategy. So I think when you look at ISIS, the president has, you know, less than a year left. The allies in the Middle East that Michael were talking about earlier, getting the Sunnis to fight with us, they don't trust us because we've made a deal with Iran. We've made a deal with the devil. The Israelis don't trust us right now. The, Su the Sunnis don't trust us. So what has to happen? I, I really don't know that there's much that this president can do. He, the next president has to come in, and carpet bombing, by the way, is not a serious, sophisticated strategy. It's unethical, and it's stupid to say it. Point but blank. what about putting extra forces, uh, American forces there, uh, on the ground? Is, is that worthwhile? It is if there's a strategy. What it, I mean, if you're just sending troops in to fight ISIS, what is the, what's the bigger picture? What are you doing with Iraq and Syria? Who are you working with? So this is why we need, I think it's time for a new president. I mean, thankfully, this administration right. is almost so over. So not nation building, but we do need an end game. That's what essentially what you're saying. Absolutely. Okay.